Hi and welcome back to how to use Anna 2. In this one we're going to take a look at how to make a 138 trance bass. So I've got a project set up with just a kick and our tempo set to 138. And I'm going to show you how to create a cool 138 bass. So we'll clear our ARP, or we've turned our ARP on and we'll just get a load of notes in. And we've got a line played in here. Okay. So we'll first start off just putting a filter on and we'll get a, a sort of bit of filter envelope. Start off there with something basic and then we can add our sub, for example. Oh, we're on the wrong oscillator. We'll take that down a octave as well. And if we put re-trig on, we're starting to get into the zone. And one of uh, Anna 2's new effects is Sidekick, which is sort of sidechain vibes. Solo that here so you can hear the difference. So we've got our side chain, it works really well. We've got a few options there that we can dial in, depending on what you want. And we can also adjust the dry wet here. So if we want to keep a bit of the original in. So that sounds pretty cool already. But we can do a bit more. Um, let's uh, add some FM on this. So let's see if we put a sine wave in here. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, we have to turn our sine wave on. Turn the volume down. And we'll put retrig on that as well. And then what we can do is assign that to our mod, our mod envelope. And we'll use the Anna 1 envelope shape. It's sort of the best for plucks, I find. That just helps give us a bit more click at the start. Almost heading into the sort of side trance area. It's quite popular at the minute. And we can also add some other effects or some Cool stuff you can do, you could add a phaser in um, and turn the depth down. It's here without and with. We have another cool effect that's good for this type of stuff. You can load on the summer flange. Turn our feedback down a bit. Gives you some really nice vibes. And, and we can also add in some multi-limiter. Turn our 
overall volume down a bit. That just gives you a bit more control over low, mids and highs. You can almost use it like an EQ as well. So there we go. There's a couple of different options for a 138 trans bass. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.